Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for August the 20th, read by Kirsty S. from the East Midlands in the United Kingdom. AA Thoughts for the Day Newcomers Abandon yourself to God as you understand God. Admit your faults to him and your fellows. Clear away the wreckage of your past. Give freely of what you find and join us. We shall be with you in the fellowship of the Spirit, and you will surely meet some of us as you trudge the road of happy destiny. God bless you and keep you. Until then. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 164. Thought to Consider Newcomers are the lifeblood of the programme, but our old-timers are the arteries. Acronyms A, B, C Acceptance, Belief, Change Just for today Impatient From Gutta Bravado Still very impatient, I wanted the whole deal right away. That's why I related so well to the story about a wide-eyed new person and an old-timer. When the newcomer approached the old-timer, envying his accomplishments and many years of sobriety, the old-timer slapped down his hand like a gavel and said, I'll trade you, even, my thirty years for your thirty days, right now. He knew what the newcomer had yet to find out, that true happiness is found in the journey, not the destination. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 510-511 Daily Reflections Toward Emotional Freedom Since defective relations with other human beings have nearly always been the immediate cause of our woes, including our alcoholism, no field of investigation could yield more satisfying and valuable rewards than this one. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 80. Willingness is a peculiar thing for me in that, over a period of time, it seems to come first with awareness, but then with a feeling of discomfort, making me want to take some action. As I reflected on taking the eighth step, my willingness to make amends to others came as a desire for forgiveness of others and myself. I felt forgiveness toward others after I became aware of my part in the difficulties of relationships. I wanted to feel the peace and the serenity described in the promises. From working the first seven steps, I became aware of whom I had harmed and that I had been my own worst enemy. In order to restore my relationships with my fellow human beings, I knew I would have to change. I wanted to learn to live in harmony with myself and others so that I could also live in emotional freedom. The beginning of the end to my isolation from my fellows and from God came when I wrote my eighth step list. As Bill sees it, the value of human will. Many newcomers have experienced little but constant deflation, feel a growing conviction that human will is of no value whatever. They have become persuaded, sometimes rightly so, that many problems beside alcohol will not yield to a headlong assault powered only by the individual's will. However, there are certain things which the individual alone can do, all by himself and in the light of his own circumstances, he needs to develop the quality of willingness. When he acquires willingness, he is the only one who can then make the decision to exert himself along spiritual lines. Trying to do this is actually an act of his own will. It is a right use of this faculty. Indeed, all of AA's 12 steps require our sustained and personal exertion to conform to their principles, and so we trust to God's will. 12 and 12, page 40. Big book quote. Once more, the alcoholic at certain times has no effective mental defence against the first drink. Except in a few rare cases, neither he nor any human being can provide such a defence. His defence must come from a higher power. More about alcoholism, page 43. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. When many hundreds of people are able to say that the consciousness of the presence of God is today the most important factor of their lives, they present a powerful reason why one should have faith. When we see others solve their problems by simple reliance upon some spirit of the universe, we have to stop doubting the power of God. 
Our ideas did not work, but the God idea does. Deep down in every man, woman and child is the fundamental idea of God. Faith in a power greater than ourselves and miraculous demonstrations of that power in our lives are facts as old as the human race. Am I willing to rely on the spirit of the universe? Meditation for the day. You should not dwell too much on the mistakes, faults and failures of the past. Be done with shame and remorse and contempt for yourself. With God's help, develop a new self-respect. Unless you respect yourself, others will not respect you. You ran a race, you stumbled and fell. You have risen again and now you press on toward the goal of a better life. Do not stay to examine the spot where you fell. Only feel sorry for the delay, the short-sightedness that prevented you from seeing the real goal sooner. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not look back. I pray that I may keep picking myself up and making a fresh start each day. Hazelden Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. My name is Kirsty and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.